Welcome to our five on five. Pleased to welcome back U.S. Senator Ron Wyden. Good to see you, sir. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. So you just wrapped up a news conference about some joint efforts to combat local drug trafficking in southern Oregon uh, after meeting with officials from Medford, Jackson County, the state and federal government. What can you share with our viewers? Every part of the state believes it's just been clobbered by hard drugs and southern Oregon especially so. And I'm concerned and I made this uh, point that we're not getting adequate federal resources uh, here. And I listened to the law enforcement officials and they felt, for example, like DEA, which is a flagship a drug enforcement uh, agency, is pretty much AWOL in Southern Oregon. And I'm gonna insist on changes and getting resources here. Is that be, is the DEA's lack of a presence here or lack of a significant presence here because we're not on the Mexico or Can Canadian borders? I'm gonna let them uh, try to give the excuse, but I don't think there is one. We have a very serious uh, fentanyl problem. We understand that uh, other parts of the country do as well, but we're dealing with I-5, we're dealing with 84. This is an area that is experiencing a big hit in terms of dangerous drugs and it's not acceptable for uh, for DEA uh, to kind of put us through a scavenger hunt to find out where they are. The Federal Bureau of Ocean Energy Management has extended the comment period now for two offshore wind farming locations covering about 200,000 acres, about 18 to 32 miles off the Curry and Coos County coasts. A lot of people have concerns about this uh, from the tribes to the fishing industry. Are you a backer of this plan? I led the effort to get additional time for our uh, area to comment on this. Look, I, I don't think that the two areas people are concerned about are mutually exclusive. I think we can protect our fishing families and we can have clean uh, wind, uh, wind energy and that's what I'm uh, focused on uh, delivering is both. Okay, and I just want to share with our viewers to learn more or to comment because it is open right now uh, about wind farming off the coast. Go to boem.gov. Uh, you have until October 31st, Halloween. Uh, as part of your statewide tour with the Oregon Business Council, you're holding a round table in a couple hours. Uh, with some Southern Oregon businesses. What are you hoping to hear from them that you can potentially take back to Washington? Our model was so successful with semiconductors. We're looking at the prospect of thousands of good paying jobs in semiconductors, and I'm trying to use that model for agriculture as well. We do a lot of things well in this state, but what we do best is we grow things, we add value to them, we ship them all over the world. About one out of four jobs revolves around international trade. That's particularly important in this part of the state. And I'm gonna be listening to, uh, to farmers and folks who care about agriculture in Southern Oregon and get their input. Okay, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. We'll have much more with the Senator in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with U.S. Senator Ron Wyden. Senator, a big change recently in House GOP leadership. Uh, Democrats joining a handful of Republicans and voting out Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Now it appears former House Whip Steve Scalise may get the role. It's not official at, any, at, at this time, but is he better than McCarthy from your and your party's perspective? I think Republicans probably aren't hanging on every word I have to say about, about this. I just think it's important to have all hands on deck right now. We're in the middle of an enormous, enormous challenge with, uh, with Israel. Uh, Israel has been such a good ally of the United States. They're always there to help us. And, and Hamas, it's not complicated what their agenda is. They're not about freedom and, and independence uh, for themselves. They're about genocide for Israel, trying to kill as many Jews as possible. And we need all hands on deck to have our alliance uh, with, uh, with Israel that's now decades uh, old as strong as possible. Certainly, we've all seen what's happened in the, in the last few days. Can you share what your emotions have been like, I guess, since it began on Saturday? I, uh, I'm particularly proud right now to be the son of Peter and Edith uh, Wyden. You know, they fled the Nazis. Not all our family got out. We lost family at Kristallnacht and, uh, and Theresienstadt. And uh, my dad was one of the Ritchie uh, boys. And you look at the murderous practices of, of Hamas and you see how important it is for us to strengthen the U.S.-Israel alliance that uh, has been in place for decades uh, ever since Harry Truman championed it. What are your recommendations for the United States' response to this situation? Well, right, right now we're going to have to help uh, Israel with intelligence. I sit on the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence with munitions. Uh, they're going to have uh, security needs. We've got to be there for them. We will be. Senator, good to see you. Thanks Thank for you so having much. me. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.